Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can build quizzes in Formulu and add auto grading and answer sheets to your forms and quizzes. So let's get started. Go to your Formulu dashboard and uh, it's easily go to the formulu.com and click on the dashboard button at the top. And uh, there you can add your form from scratch right here or uh, use the ready to customize templates. And uh, let me move my face to the right so you can see. At the left, you will see the categories of the templates you can choose from and uh there is something for quizzes here you can click on it and view the quizzes uh, i'll uh, you can demo them and pick them i'll choose this one let's pick it there you can customize it based on your um the questions you want to be in your quiz and uh, you can delete them, duplicate them, and by clicking on them, you can change uh, the field's properties. So here, uh, this question is required. You can make it not required. You can change the options. Uh, each option here in this question has an image stick to it. But um, you can avoid it. You can delete the images. You can um, customize it based on what you want. So um, to get back, you can, on the left menu, you can get to the add field and add any other field type you want. You can drag it and drop it into your um, form canvas and add the question here. And um, yeah, that's it. I'll do this one. Uh, I think that this quiz is good to start. I'll save it in my dashboard. This is the link to it. You can change the link in the settings menu. You can change it to, uh, to whatever you want. And um, yeah, there are various settings and design options you can customize. So this is the background image. I've added a shadow color on top of the background. So the text um, pops, up, pops out. And uh, let's see how the quiz looks like. Here, I'll start it. and. When I choose this option, it shows me that is correct. But if I get back and choose like a second option, it says, uh, sorry, it's not right. So how is it done? So um, if you get to the logic tab, you'll see that uh, there's a diagram that shows how it's working. Uh, the question, the first question, I click on it and here I see the conditions uh, set on it. Um, it says uh, if this question was option one, jump to that's correct, and otherwise jump to sorry, it's not right. So that's correct uh, is a section field here that was added to my form. As you see, oh, I get to edit tab again. As you see, uh, the that's correct is uh, right here. That um, when uh, when this option was selected. Uh, I've said in my logic tab that uh, it should go to the that's correct section. And if it wasn't correct, it goes to this section. And the section field is just the field right here. You can add to your form whenever you want. And this is how uh, the form works uh, and shows the um, quick uh, answer sheet right after the student uh, chooses these options. Uh, you may want to do this. I mean, it's uh, very educational when you select this option, uh, you see if it's correct or not. Uh, but you might want it to show, you, want, you might want to show uh, the answer sheet after the form is submitted. So let's see how you can do that. So in your form editor, you can go to the calculator at, uh, tab and here you will see a list of your questions, same as before. But the difference is uh, you can click on the fields and add a calculation to them. So basically, uh, if I click on this question, I can add, uh, click on the add a calculation and say if the answer was choice one, add like uh, one uh, point to the score. Or uh, you can add another calculation and uh, say if it was choice two, like subtract um, 
deduct one point from the score. You can do it for the other options as well to reduce the score. It's like less, so I've added one to the score. And uh, here again, I'll add my calculation based on what I want. So here I have set um, the score of each question, the correct answer of each question, and I've added one uh, point to, each, the, to the total score. So I'll save my calculation here, and when I mm, submit my quiz, you, you will see that uh, it doesn't show the score. It's because um, right here above the, uh, the page, there is an option to show calculation after submission. So if you enable this, uh, it will show the student their uh, final score. So uh, let me refresh my form because I've saved it there. So I must refresh it here to test. And uh, when I answer these questions, submit, and yeah, my total grade is two. It shows my total grade of the quiz here. So I've deleted all the sections from my quiz so that um, it won't show it after answering the question. But I want to show the whole answer sheet after the form is submitted. And I want, it, uh, I want to show it in one piece. So <music> write down the correct answer or the answer sheet you want to be visible uh, after form submit. So I'll just type down some text here. So here I have added my answer sheet and as you see there are many options. You can add images here just by clicking on the image icon and uploading right here. You can set the width and height of the images. Yeah, you can add your images. You can make um, text, your text uh, bold or illic. And you can play with text, make them underlined or um, strike through. So uh, yeah, uh, you have different options. Or for example, you can choose the text and um, change the font or set uh, to heading one, something like this. And after you've changed, uh, you've uh, done with your changes, save the calculation. And here you have uh, an option to show the answer sheet after submitting the form. So I enable this, save it, and go to my form, and let's submit it again. So here I submit my questions, uh, answer my questions, and uh, submit. So uh, I've received grade two, and here I can view the answer sheet. So if I click on it, uh, you'll see that it loads the form, but it also shows the correct answers under each question. Yeah, it's uh, that simple. If you had any questions, just comment down below this video or keep in touch with us via email support at signformalu.com and we'll get back to you within 24 hours. I hope this video was helpful and bye for now.